we return to Starfield. We're checking out Earth today, which looks like it's, uh, yeah, quite a shithole, judging by the amount of debris in orbit. Um, I'm assuming this level of debris is intentional and not um, random. Would make sense. You know, if there's a massive evacuation effort, that would uh, totally track. So, let's go land on Earth. Uh, I suppose we'll just go check out our marker, visit the, uh, was it London or whatever here. So I think today's gonna be... Today's gonna be, like, an exploratory episode, I think. Um... Unless maybe we run out of inventory capacity and I can't find a place to sell things because Mars is a bit depleted. Extreme solar radiation. Yeah, so we've got no magnetosphere and uh, no atmosphere, essentially. Uh, actually, yeah, what does it say? Minus one, zero percent O2, one grav. Okay, yeah. Tracks. I feel like, well, okay, uh, no, I was going to say, I feel like with the atmosphere got stripped, you would have more structures left behind, but probably not because the atmospheric stripping would be instantaneous. I mean, I, I mentioned in a previous episode, I don't even think the time scale is remotely re valid. Like, losing all the whole atmosphere in a few hundred years, I don't buy it, but, uh. I suppose if, if it was happening, there would probably be a pretty substantial level of devastation, I guess. Maybe. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, we got some lead. There's a, a little uh, apparent gas vent or something over there, maybe. Probably just environmental, not like a real thing. Is in not like a resource vent, yeah. Although it is weird that there's like nothing else here and we just have one tower in the middle of the desert. Like. Okay, we got Mercury. Just in the middle of London, sure. Just a little, little pool of, you know, surface Mercury, whatever. On, on a planet that's been stripped of its atmosphere. I feel like surely that would not be stable. Ah, let's not worry about it. I'm not a chemist. If you are a chemist, sound off in the comments about how, how this game has offended you with its uh, <laughs> different things. We can all team up. Wait, so unknown marker. What is this building supposed to be? Like, I don't know. Never been to London, you know? Yeah, uh, taking some, uh, some damage lingering by that chlorine vent a little too long there, looting it. So... Missing water and uh, silanes or whatever. I kind of assumed there would be a thing here. Like, um, we had that uh, snow globe from Apollo. I kind of assumed we were going to be in for one of those again. But I guess not. Okay, well, uh, welcome to Earth, man. What a shithole. Not gonna lie, I was expecting more, um, evidence of habitation, like, more debris. Like, if you take away this tower, this is just any fucking desert planet, right? This doesn't exactly scream Earth, devastation or not. 
We do have a, um, oh, there's another, another thing. We do have a, uh, uh, geological landform we need to identify. So why don't I pause the video while I run over to this marker and see, uh, if there's anything there. I mean, there'll be something there, but we'll see if it's anything interesting. What's this? Water! Hey, okay, well, that's, uh, that's the survey done, except for the geo thing. Cool. Alright, uh, it's some sort of, uh, geological feature. Hey, it didn't do the escape menu thing when I tabbed back into the game. What the fuck? Is it because I'm in the scanner? Is that the trick? What do we got? Is it really just meteorites? Really? We're just doing meteorites? We're not doing anything else for, for Earth? For all of Earth? We're just doing... We're just doing this, huh? Uh, hello? Meteorites? What do I need to scan? That's a little weird, huh? Fucking corrosive liquid. Why the fuck is this not working? This was pretty simple previously. Um... Fucking stop sending me into the goddamn pool. Sliding down the fucking slope. This sh this fucking sucks. Why? Why? Why does this not work? Why is there... Do I need to find a second site? It wasn't like that previously, right? I, I don't know, man. All right, well, maybe we need to find a second site, I guess. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, I mean, I found a second crater. Uh, and the second crater has, you know, two pools. So you scan both pools to complete the scan. For whatever reason, the other one didn't. Actually, is this like three or is this all one? I don't know. So yeah, maybe we didn't look around enough on the other one. I guess I just forgot how that works. Um, but yeah, there we go. This is an entirely separate landing site, and it looks exactly the same as everything else. So, yeah, Earth, uh, uh pretty, pretty, uh, underwhelming. Um, it's all just this sandy desert. And there, I, this is such a, another missed opportunity. Like, why is this place not just covered in, like, ruins, at least? To make it look different? Like... Destroying the Earth is all well and good, right? Because, like, procedural content, it, it makes sense. If, if Earth was intact, how would Earth make any sense for generating random content? We know where cities are, right? So I get it, right? It makes sense. You got to do this. Fine. But, like, why is it just a desert? Why not something more? Just a smidge? Just a dollop of, of more stuff. I don't know. Am I expecting too much? I really don't think I am. To be honest. So, uh, I was going through the quest log. There is a snow globe, because that's what the quest is tied to, and the quest to visit the landmark was not completed. So there we go. All right. So I think we'll head off to a new planet. Uh, I went to a few other spots on Earth and there really ain't shit here. There's nothing. It's just, it's just nothing. Um, we could like survey all the planets. That might be worth doing. Real quick. Let's do it. 
Because I can, I can trim this down. I mean, Earth took 10 minutes, and that's probably the one I got the most to say about, and there's the most to see. Um, wait, what did I even... I guess we're, we're doing a manual landing? Wait, what? Oh, where did I go? Wait, <laughs> what did I click? How did I go to Jupiter? Okay, well, anyway, uh, we don't need to be here. I, I guess it was in the background when I clicked uh, to bring stuff up. Set landing target. Wait, no. What? Can I zoom in and pick a landing target? Oh, maybe it's not la landable? Wait, what the fuck happened? I... Uh, why does it get me out of the fucking seat? It's except for E, but it just kicks me out of the fucking seat every goddamn time. The hotkeys need to be fucking fixed. Is it because I held it down? It's because I held it down. I need to tap it. I fucking hate. I hate that in games. Uh, repair part, salvage rights, credits. I'll take credits. Here's some credits. We gotta resume our patrol. 1300. That seems fine. Um, okay. So. Yeah, we can land on Mercury. I don't know why. I could have sworn I could just go from land location to land location. Maybe it doesn't work when there's not a landmark to click on. Yeah, so a huge pet peeve of mine. We pull anything organic off this rock. Yeah, no shit, lady. A huge pet peeve of mine. Also, 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 also. Okay, so Earth, right? I was complaining there's no ruins. You go to a place like Mercury. Also, this feels like it's Mercury. This feels very warm. Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, but look at all the random crap strewn about, right? Why don't we have random crap strewn about on Earth? Why is it just a barren ass desert? Don't get it. Anyway. I don't think we really need Helium-3. Um... Yeah, it's, it's a huge pet peeve of mine that when you have hotkeys that are sometimes press and sometimes hold. I know why it's like that in the game. It's because consoles are a thing that exist. And because video game consoles are a thing that exist, we need control systems and PC games to be bad to accommodate the limited button options of a console. And it's very infuriating. Just change your fucking game control schemes for the PC version. Don't force me to use the same limited range of options. All right, that that's another rant done. Well, survey completed. Mercury done. Do I have any interest in checking out random ruins and stuff here? No, no, I don't. Um, whoops. All right. So next. We've done Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. We've done the moon. Um, we've surveyed Jupiter. Let's let's go uh, outward, though. So I want to take a quick spin to uh, Europa, I think. I don't really think I need to check out Ganymede. Europa is the spicy one.
Maybe it's because it hasn't been scanned? Maybe I maybe it never worked. Maybe I could never travel directly to fucking the surface. I I don't know. All right, Europa. Again, surrounded by an unreasonable cloud of asteroids. All right, I mean, it looks nice with like the, the Linnea or Linnea or whatever the fuck, however you pronounce it, I don't. I've never actually heard that word said out loud. The, the reddish streaks in the ice of Europa. Frozen hills everywhere, is everything just frozen hills? It looks like it, which makes sense. All right, let's just pick an equatorial spot and land. Yeah, I mean, it looks like uh, it looks like Europa to me, I guess. Probably shouldn't be an extreme solar radiation environment. It should be like an extreme Jovian radiation environment. It's gonna be Jupiter's wild magnetic field that causes uh, high radiation. I, I suppose this surface seems reasonable enough, I guess. I I don't actually know what the uh, what you'd expect from the surface of Europa. 700, there's a structure over there. There's some resources. Maybe we should have done an orbital scan for stuff too. Anything interesting in range? I like that it's like ice. Well, that's nice, it's not just a random pool of water. Is it? Yeah, it's ice that you, you actually mine, fantastic. Okay, I was a little worried about some of the resource um, let's say presentation being very, uh, limited, but I was expecting the same kind of pool of water everywhere for things that are water. Yeah, it seems like we're not going to get much else here to do. This wasn't, um, this is marked. So right, Callisto's our base. What is this marker? I wonder, okay, here's what I wonder. If there's mission sensitive locations, uh, or like deliberate settlements and stuff like that, maybe those don't show up until you know about them, but they're still marked on the overview here. So that would be my guess if I was a betting man, because like Mars has got this marker here. We know there's a settlement, right? Titan and Europa also have these markers and Titan and Europa both make a lot of sense for being locations uh, that would have settlements. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's what's going on there. I wonder... I wonder if there's any way you can stumble across it or if you literally just need some sort of mission. For it. Hmm. What is going on over here? I'm sorry, is this a big ass lake? Oh, Varoons are here. Well, that's a... Hmm. Uh, okay, well, we're gonna investigate that. We haven't run into Varoon people on the ground yet. Uh, and I'm very curious about the fact that they seem to be hanging out by a lake on the surface of Europa. Um, where'd the guy go? Oh, there he is. I don't think the detonating the thing there did much. Abandoned cryo lab. 
probably makes sense. Bye, idiots. Oh, that's Sarah. Oh, I was going to head in and switch to shoddy. Well, Sarah, why are you up in the mix? What are you doing? Oh, hello. Oh, I think he died to fire damage. All right, well. Yeah, guns. Uh, okay, other corpses, one, two, that's water, oh, contraband cash, mind if I do, master unlock, god damn, all right, I mean, we have that, I'm just looking around a little bit more first, all right, so, oh, okay, fine, Th this is, yeah, it's not, it's not actually, uh, liquid water, it's, a, a recently like a nice frozen lake right it's a water outpouring from like cryovolcanism or something that's then frozen upon exposure to the outside that that's that seems reasonable to me like that's the generally the explanation for the lines on the surface of Europa so that seems good I mean it probably I don't know if it would look like that um but fine. Okay, we're just missing chlorine for resources. Let's let's raid this place. Let's start with this little shed here. Oh, uh, secure access only? Might be a key in the other building, or maybe there's a back door. No. Okay. Um, maybe that's what's going on then? Let's grab the contraband. Any other random crafting loot here? Okay, we got a lot of things that are only for the second ring. Uh, let's solve the second ring. I'm trying to use only the things that are specifically there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe these two can work in conjunction. Just trying to see if there's a good way to get... Two spots that might work. Okay, yeah, those two solved that. All right. Uh, in the interest of sanity, I'm just gonna solve the outer one. Okay, and then hope we're we're fine. Uh, 
three, two. Are we fucked? We're fucked. Damn it. Well, we got 30 digipix, so like whatever. Uh hopefully these stay set. Yeah. I mean not set but like aligned. Okay. So yeah, okay, let's use we should use this one. Okay, so now we got two or this with this. That seems good. Okay. Harvested organs! Sentient AI adapters. Okay. Uh, we'll just go toss a bunch of organs on the surface of Callisto for a while. Not a problem. Let's save before the game fucking crashes. Pacifier? That might be new. O2 filtered deep seeker? Eh. Eh. Uh, we did level up randomly exploring as well hey ballistic weapons do damage crit damage okay cool uh so we do have a point to distribute i feel like since i am a absolute loot goblin maybe inventory capacity is a thing to do also i feel like there should be more corpses do we really only kill three dudes Varun Zealot. Varun Zealot. Varun Zealot. Did one get, like, knocked away, maybe? Ah. I think I missed all of these ones down here. Yeah. Alright, that tracks more. Five, five looks more like what I expected. Okay, uh, so we looted all that. Then there's a way down. Udon. Oh, because I was in that. So we got a whole underground facility. This might be more to do than we're looking for. It's cool that it's all like cryogenic and shit. It's not uh, unbreathable apparently though, since we're down here in our, uh, our helmet off. Of course, we're almost dead. I was hoping to go back to the ship and rest. Thinking that I just want to see what this place is about, maybe?
Sorry, Sarah, we're leaving. We're not gonna fight him. Come on, let's go. I'm not gonna do a whole dungeon right now. This is Explorer episode, this is not Dungeon Crawl episode. S Sarah? Oh, Jesus, Sarah. Oh, she's here. Okay. Are they gonna follow us out? Let's see if there's anything else here up on the top. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, there's a little bit over here. Oh my god, that's a high-end one. Where are you going, idiot? Where are you going? Okay. Hackers calibrated Varun space helmet. Plus two max auto attempts that can be banked while hacking. I don't know how the auto attempts work. Maybe we should play with that. Maybe we don't have to go through the whole puzzle things the way it works. I don't know. Okay, ground crew pack is not anything great. 120 damage reduction. But... It's not immediately crazy in terms of the things it does. I don't know. Do we want it? I mean, this one's not either, to be honest. Technicians could very, like, conditional. I don't even know when airborne resistance is going to apply. Incendiary has helped, but is not crazy. So, like, we have upgraded it, though. Chameleons can be weird in some games. Yeah, okay. Well, scopes still work with chameleon. So that's not bad. Hmm. You know what? It's probably good to have a piece of chameleon. The big thing is, I'm, I guess I'm just traumatized on using chameleon from Fallout, where it fucking breaks the UI. <laughs> yeah, plus we already had technician on this backpack, so like, we're stacking up a bunch of anti-robot shit that's like, whatever. Alright, sure. It matches the suit decently, too. Uh, we need to give her some shit. Yes. Uh, take the weapons. Those are definitely more valuable. Okay, she's already pretty full. Oh, pacifier is a uh, a nice little future pump shotgun. Okay. Sure. 
what? Fill your inventory up with, uh, like, foam cups and shit, maybe. Alright, well, we're, we're got enough here to move anyway, so. Let's go check out this little, uh, ledge up here where the duder was. And see if there's anything else, yeah. Hypercatalyst. Calm relay. Another precious foam cup. All right. Well, I think we're done here. I'm going to go look for that chlorine to finish the uh, scan data. Yeah, so it is the... Uh... Why would why'd that make so much noise? It, it is the, the map markers that allow you to quick travel to the surface and not to orbit. So you have to travel to orbit when it's a... Um... A new place you're going you don't have a set destination so this is my new uh storage box for contraband i set up on Callisto. we've got quite a good collection of contraband started here um oh maybe it was this making sound because i was like right by it <laughs> rename contraband point sure <laughs> All right, uh, next. So, I think I'm content. Oh, I did get the chlorine as well. I think I'm content with uh, that being enough exploration of the Jupiter system. We could end up Ganymede. I just don't see any need to. Um, it's fine. I wonder if any of the, Ur the Uranian moons have anything. It doesn't seem like it. We'd see the marker, right? Because we see Europa. Oh, we don't see Titan until we look at Saturn. Hold on. No, no, sorry, I want to rotate. Okay, yeah, the moons don't seem to do nothing special. Fair enough. Yeah, so, uh, let's jump over to Saturn. Uh, Okay, I guess I have to go to the planet map to scan. That's what I wanted to do, is get the scan data on Saturn, because why not? Uh, what else do we got? We got Rhea, Enceladus, Iapetus, Dione, or Dione, or whatever, Mimas, Tethys, and Titan. I definitely want to check out Titan. Asteroids near... Is that... Why is this like that? Is that in this system? It looks like it is. Okay, what do we want to do? do we want, I'm kind of interested in Enceladus, but really it's probably just another ice moon. I doubt there's going to be anything particularly intriguing. Why did it zoom me all the way out? Wait, okay, well, whatever. Iaptus is interesting with this, like, two-tone thing, but I, I don't know if they're going to do anything with it. Let's go check. I have this is a very interesting moon. Okay, apparently it's also got an absolute debris field. Oh, our first bounty hunter. Okay, uh, I don't know who you think I am, but you're about to find out, because this is our wanted trait we took. What's an ash to? What? Was that multiple ships? What was that? <laughs> you could fit way more than 2,000 credits in an ash to moron. Okay, uh. 
Okay, fucking Rex Scrub. Oh god, there is multiple ships. Oh, there's multiple ships though, never mind. We're gonna get wrecked. We're the ones to get wrecked. Okay, one down. Where's the other one? Ah, they're here! Where, 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 where? I need a lock. I need to find the, oh, uh, the target. Wait, why are they just right on fucking top of my dick? God damn it. Why can I not target lock them? There we go. Do I not have any more missiles? Is my missile system down? What are we doing? All right. Well, that was some slop. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we didn't lose. Um. <laughs> uh. But boy, did I probably burn some resources. I spammed heals there a little bit in panic. Um, so I'd have no idea how many ship pieces we used. We might have to go buy some. It's probably fine. Hello? Can I not loot you? What is what is going on? Okay. Why did I... Was, I, was it... Did I just get close enough for that to work or not? I don't, I don't know. Where's the other one? Uh, there's a marker here. We might, so there is ship targeting, which is supposed to make things more interesting, I guess. Um, the problem I have is like, do I feel like I'm gonna be able to do ship targeting? I feel like every ship fight we get into we just get fucking obliterated and there's no time to do anything tactical. Like, I feel like, I don't feel like we have a chance to fucking aim. I don't know. All right, well, we got some ship parts back. Um... So, uh, yeah, we can scan real quick. Argon water. Sure. Frozen hills, frozen hills, frozen hills. So the whole two-tone thing doesn't make a difference. It's just, it's just frozen hills in general. All right, well, let's land and check it out since we're here. Fuck it. I also want to take stock of what we've burned for resources doing that little uh, hip fight there. Well. I appreciate that they have different types of rocks for uh, rocks and slash, slash ice blocks. I mean, ice is really just a rock at the end of the day, right? It just happens to be molten at room temperature. Um, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm nice. It's it's nice to see that they uh, have different types of environments. It's not just every ice moon looks the same, right? Oh, also, I figured out how to actually access the cargo hold from the ship. It's right there on the wall. It even says cargo hold. I got that because we still have the quest to access the ship's inventory from a million uh, years ago. So... Four. Apparently, I picked one up, so I must have used four ship parts during that battle in panic. Um, whoopsies. At least we still have some left, so could be worse. Um, I guess anything that we pick up 
just goes to their inventory? There was a wanted. Yeah, there it is. We'll take a look at that. It seemed like it was mostly just like crafting material and ship parts and then the wanted thing, right? I don't know if anything else here came from there. Yeah, it's probably fine. Well, soldiers of fortune, I want Kalash dead. A large sum of credits made your account upon confirmation of the kill. To add to the game, the number will increase by a set amount every week. And what you're thinking, the longer you wait, the higher the bounty. But ask itself, will the next hunter be as patient as you? Okay. Um, sure. Everything's five by five, Captain. Okay. Uh. Sorry, let's take a quick power nap here. Apparently, if you take a nap on Venus, because of how long the days on Venus are, it's Funny how people complain it's a local hour, field expeditions. and so like, to me, it's like a second skin. 100 days pass or something. If you if you sleep 24 hours, it's like... So, okay. A Venus day is longer than a Venus year. A Venus year is shorter than an Earth year. It's something like 280 days or something like that, I think. So if you sleep for one day on Venus, you're sleeping for like 300 Earth days. <laughs> That's how it works in the game. So if you sleep for one hour on Venus, you're sleeping for like weeks in terms of Earth time, which has no negative repercussions on you in game and can be used to quickly refresh like inventories on vendors, apparently. Um, benzene. Yeah, we got a few interesting uh, resources here, at least. Some different stuff. So we got what looks like some sort of mining facility. Uh, some other unknown facility. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably just gonna... We'll make our way towards this one. It's only 300 meters away. We'll, we'll see. We'll just experience the service for a few minutes here. See if we find uh, other resources we're looking for, maybe. Check that location out. We're not going to go indoors anywhere, but we can raid the outskirts if we want. More water. I'm not going to collect it. And yeah, I mean, we've, we're coming up on a good amount of time here in this episode already, so... Argon vent? Uh, we might want to grab that. That might be worth picking up real quick. Why Why is argon... Argon is a noble gas. It's in our atmosphere at like 1% of atmospheric composition. Why does it count as a toxic gas in this game? What are you talking about? If you want it to be superheated argon vents, fine, fuck it. But why is it toxic? That doesn't make any sense. All right, well, this seems to be just a little outpost. Abandoned biochem lab. Uh, this looks small enough that if there's not a basement level, we can actually raid it. Yeah, this isn't even an enterable structure. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Low gravity is fun. Long damage gained. Really? Oh, because maybe my suit uh, wasn't regening because of the hostile environment. That makes sense. Whatever. It's not going to matter. We'll be fine. Oh, that's interesting. There's a pit. Storage liquid? Medium? There's nothing in it. Storage gas. Some fluorine gas. Is there really nothing in this? Hmm. What did you pick? No, toilet paper. He <laughs> got I got rosed by toilet paper. All right. Well, this place appears to mostly be a dump so far. We'll go check the hole last. Oh, there's two holes. Wait, is that a corpse?
three holes, whatever. <laughs> There's holes. There's an amount of holes. Requires computer. Where's the computer? Maybe in the pit? Oh, this is this is looking like more of a facility than I was thinking. You picked the wrong fight. That part of the life form should prove useful. Uh oops, didn't mean to take the utility knife. Why is this it's just a naked ass corpse? Well this is patience. Well, this is concerning, huh? All right, I'm intrigued. You've caught my, you got my intrigue. I think we might investigate this place. Although I don't see how we get in anywhere yet. Yeah, I can't break the windows. Hmm. Oh, I'm clever. I'm fucking clever. <laughs> Except for, cl clever, except for the part where I burnt myself. Other than that, I'm clever. Um, might want to fucking deal with all these status debuffs I now have. Oops. All right, well, uh, I think we can thoroughly say at this point that the exploration is going to take more than one episode. Uh, 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 okay, weird. The, the E button stopped working? Now it worked again. A fucking what? I mentioned before that I think my keyboard is dying. I remain somewhat unconvinced that that's true. Um, because I haven't encountered any issues outside of this game. I keep thinking like Digipix, but no. Really, these are not openable lockers. That's interesting. to gain calibrator rattler standard server the high clearance personnel only wow really dude berserk coachman all right if you want to be a naked man with a shotgun that's the weapon for you uh, i'm very amused by uh sandwich area prognosis improved burns you know what we just ignore it long enough it goes away that's true You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Apparently this whole thing is on top of an argon vent. That's funny.
Might as well take all the science glassware to go sell. This Argon vent is really getting in the way of my uh, efficient looting. Oh god, so many vials. They're actually one of the most lucrative junk items we've found. I'm just gonna loot all of this and sort it out later. Fuck it, give me all the glassware. Scient scientist corpse, wait. Is it in the wall? Cause I don't think it's this one, cause this, maybe it is that one. Okay, a bunch of body sacks. Uh, uh, what do you, what do you call them? What do you call them? Body bags. <laughs> body sacks. What the fuck? I'm a scientist, yo. <laughs> okay, uh... Undisclosed Research Laboratory. Okay, I mean, I'm fucking intrigued. We're gonna do this. Um... I'm very curious about the the upper level computer thing. Oh, you know what it is? It's a back exit. It's totally just a back exit. It's a Skyrim door. Obviously. Okay. Cough, idiot. Okay, we got pirates, but I don't see them. All right. Uh... Pretty minor pirates. What are you fucking doing, idiot? <laughs> okay. Caution. There's still more here. But far away? I don't stock up on junk. Shut up! God, I hate your commentary, lady. Eh, ah, Maelstrom, pretty junk. Fix the leak pipe in the warehouse. Stay from the pipes and the components. Too much stuff hits out here. We get a chain reaction on our hands. Uh, explode a thing? Maybe? So there's a lot of ice. And there is this explosive tank. Yeah, it didn't really do nothing. Okay. No, nope, that explosion was uh, completely unrelated to anything. 
I, I don't know what you think you heard. Shit. But I was invisible! No, you don't. No, you don't. Did he die? Is that him? I don't fucking know. Well, carry capacity. We can have a fucking tank top. That's not really my style. Uh, Maelstrom suck. Even though I picked one up already. Not sure if that's that guy or that was just somebody else. Alien crew display, nose grub display is new. Insectoid paperweight. Desktop fishbowl. Trilobite. I think we have those. At least pirates make things looting easy because all their guns fucking suck. Any data we recover from this laboratory could be valuable, provided we're allowed to take it, of course. Uh, we're allowed to take anything we fucking want. Okay, well there's gonna be so much shit here. All right, why don't we uh, wrap this episode up here and we'll deal with more of this stuff next time. I think what I'm gonna do is just leave the looting till afterwards for the most part. We'll loot the obvious shit, like any any lockers, containers, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave uh, most of this for uh, off screen looting try and streamline things so yeah we're back let's start here uh next time and make sure we've got everything interesting looted like those lockers and move on from there